This is Michael Orl of MobileBurn.com. Today we're going to take a look at the new Windows Mobile IE Mobile 6, also known as 6 on 6, as it appears on the Sprint Trio Pro. Uh, the original Trio Pro ran the original Pocket IE browser, so this is the first device to come on the market running the new um, IE Mobile 6. Pull out the stylus here and open up the phone. And for sake of speed we're going to enable Wi-Fi. You do that by pressing that button there on the side, just holding it in for a second. Turn the lights off to make it easier to see the display. And we're going to pull up IE Mobile 6 now. It's going to come up with the default Sprint home page. Uh, we're actually using a Wi-Fi connection at the moment. We're in full screen mode so I'm just going to long tap to get this context sensitive menu so I can pull up the favorites and save myself some typing. We'll pull up the YouTube website and since IE Mobile 6 actually supports uh, Flash uh, you should be able to see a reasonable representation of the website as it appears on a desktop computer. It's going to take a little while to load and you know the Flash animations really do tax the CPU. Uh, this is a 528 megahertz CPU in the Palm Trio Pro so future devices, you know, we're likely to see things pushing uh, gigahertz, but you can see what's going on already and it, and it works. It's a little slow in the animations, but it's, it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Now, one of my problems with this is, you know, you really have limited zoom control in, in this version. So if you long tap the display, you can zoom out and you know, you can see you can pan the page around or whatever and just tap on something. But you notice I tapped in the middle of that woman's face and notice how it's not centered there. You know, so even though I knew where I wanted to go and I tapped here, it doesn't line up properly. So I'll do that again so you can see it better. We're in the zoom out mode and nothing happens while you're in the zoom out mode. There's no animations, no anything going on. So I will tap on this fellow's face here. And again, notice how it's, it's not centered on what I tapped, which is really kind of annoying. Uh, the fact that nothing happens while you're in the zoom out mode and you only really have two zoom levels. It's this one all the way out and that one all the way in. It's kind of strange. Now if we go and search, search on something I recently did, and I'll hit search for the LG Rumor 2 and hopefully we'll see one of the videos I just posted. But no, there was a problem. So we'll go back in, try this again. LG Rumor 2. Enter. And here we get the search results this time. And there's one of the videos I just put up, so I'll show you that the videos actually work in YouTube. One of the things you'll notice, well, it'll be a little choppy. Um, as it's loading, you also see that we don't have access, you can't see the entire thing at one time, but I'll show you how to get around that. So you can see the video working, but this is hardly a way that you could view it. I mean, it's just it's overly taxed, it's just not effective. And you'll notice if we zoom out, You know, the video stops completely, so that doesn't help either. 
but there is a solution. And you can see it's pretty much non-responsive right now, and this is a recurring theme on the browser. It's, it's really been a disappointment. It, it does lighter pages pretty well, but when it comes to the more complex stuff, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. All right. You can see we're all over the screen now. In order to see this thing full screen, you long press on it and go full screen here. Then you'll see the video in a reasonable format. You know, it'll take that flash animation, whatever it is, you know, in this case it's a YouTube video, but it'll make it fill the full screen as best it can. So you can actually watch the video this way. The frame rate's really low, um, and there are obvious problems. You can see we just hung again, but it basically works. It just seems that the device is underpowered for what we're trying to do. And I have to admit, there have been days when it's worked better than this, so... But you can see it supports it fully. Another There's the ads come up and square, get rid of that. Long press again to get out of the full screen mode and go back to the web browser mode. And you can see you know, the controls work. Tap on something and it stops. Zooming, or panning around rather, is um, kind of interesting. The way the phone deals with, or the browser deals with text, is it makes sure that nothing is any block of text is ever wider than the screen. So you don't have problems reading things. You, know, you can see it's a really wide area here where the text could go, but i.e. mobile 6, make sure that it fits on the screen. Uh, still, it doesn't make up for the fact that there's no dynamic zooming. You can, you know, when we do something in Opera 9.5, it works a lot better.